All right, I just got to get through this one, and I'm good. Not feeling good today. If you see my other channel, the video I put up, it was pretty much done from my chair because, I don't know, man. I just wo woke up feeling like crap. I don't understand. I'm just, my blood pressure is perfect. My blood sugar is perfect. I just don't feel good. Weak. I think in, in, in the comments, people were saying, well, you went to the doctor yesterday. You probably picked something up. And now that I'm thinking of it, they, maybe that could be. It was a family practice office, pretty big one. But me and the doctor were at. Uh, she closes on Fridays just to do veterans evaluations. And, I, and it was just me and her in the entire building. So unless there was some germs hanging out, or maybe she had some, I don't know. She didn't seem sick. And it doesn't seem like that kind of sick. Uh, I just, you know, my chest kind of hurts. It isn't a heart thing. I get this once in a while, but it hasn't, you know. This is the first time it's happened since I've been eating right, quit drinking. So I guess I still get it, but not as much. And it, that's what it feels like. I, I was out, out out drinking all night. You know, you know, if I don't have a headache, it's just it's weird. It's hard to understand. I, I tried to do something today. Couldn't do it. Just came in, took a nap. Feel pretty decent now, but still not good. But anyway, somebody sent me a payment on PayPal, and I don't have a PayPal link up uh, did a long time ago that, so it had to have been on an old video or was somebody from before. I don't know, but I messaged that please do not send me any donations on my PayPal. If you still have that, I think I had it up for last year's Dogtober. We were doing it that way. If somebody wanted to PayPal it to me, I forwarded it to the animal rescue. Uh, I don't longer have that. I don't want the nightmare of that with the tax uh you know accountant at the end of the year because <laughs> you got to prove where all that goes otherwise i have to count that as income and it is not income so i messaged the person i said um uh, i could pass this on you know why you want me to pass this on to the rescue I, it didn't say what it was for i don't ask for money so obviously it was more than likely uh a donation for the dog's and the dog rescue. Uh, I don't ask for donations. You don't see that on my channel wish lists or any of that. Uh, any channels I see that I'm watching and then they start that, I no longer watch them. Uh, I don't believe in that. If you can't afford to finance your own lifestyle uh, and you're making videos about it and you can't afford to do that, you shouldn't be doing it. Don't depend on your subscribers to support you. I know a lot of channels that do. Hey, that's their deal. Whatever they want to do. Man, if everybody falls in line with that, fine. But it's not how I operate. Uh, there have been times over the last 10 years being here. Yeah, I've really been. I've ate macaroni and cheese, the cheap kind. You know, the generic kind for weeks on end, potatoes, all the bad stuff, you know, all the bad stuff, ramen noodles. That is one food that is the worst thing you can eat. If you got those, throw them in the trash. They are the worst thing you can eat and put in your body besides frying french fries in so-called vegetable oil. And I haven't ate any of that. I had pork chops and hamburger last night. It was nothing I ate. Nothing wrong with my stomach. But anyway, uh, I'll be back. I've been through this many times. It's fine. You know, as long, a lot of any problems you have, as long as your blood pressure is good and your pulse is good, you're, you're probably good. Uh, because any kind of disease or, well, diseases viruses and all that they usually affect a lot of that and i've been checking that it's it's been great you know it's nice to have good blood pressure without medication 
and and I've pretty much had that since the first week I started eating carnivore. You know, I threw the pills away. I wanted to make sure I kind of whittled it down a little. No, I threw them out pretty quick. The statins. It was the metformin. I was I, I cut the dose in half, and then I no longer needed that and threw them out. I think those were doing more harm than good anyway. Uh, so I'm on no medications at all. I did take some ibuprofen today uh, for my, I get aches and pains in my feet. That's why I go to the doctor for yesterday is my feet. And that's a VA claim that I have. And she, the first thing, and I've never had this happen. I've been to many of these evaluations. Uh, they don't really say much. And the first thing out of her mouth was, don't worry about nothing. We're very pro-veteran. She's looked over my file. Nothing to worry about. I'm like, man. And I was in there for over an hour. Just, you know. And I had just had that very exact same uh, doctor visit in May. But for some reason, they didn't believe the doctor there. And sent me to a different one. So, we'll see what happens. It'll be good. But yeah, just kind of a little under the weather today. Just taking it easy. It's It's been a stressful few weeks, uh, if you've been watching the channel. A lot of things have happened. I don't, I don't think that's anything to do with it. I've been getting plenty of sleep, eating all right. I hadn't ate, I kind of, today was the first time I've had breakfast in probably a week and i did eat breakfast today and brewster had the leftovers they just got done eating they had hamburger chicken livers what else i put in there carrots chicken egg but now that i'm cooking their dinners and i'm cooking it fresh for them every day you know i gotta start i gotta make sure i don't forget and start early because it's got to cool down after you cook it. So I cleared a spot in the freezer. Stuck the whole pan in there. Ten minutes. It was cool enough. I could give it to them. Then I put a cold egg over the top. Raw. Which cooled it down. Because they'll just dig into it. If it, you give them piping hot food. They'll just dig into it. And burn their tongues or whatever. I have never done that. But I know how dogs eat. But they're, uh, they're okay. Lily's. I guess she turned nocturnal now. She's in there sleeping all day, and she's outside in the yard all night. And she's going to be okay. I, I had planned, I had every intention of getting those her and Rooster together today, and I just could not deal with it. I was, I've, I've got to sit down after a while. I can't be on my feet, and I didn't want to deal with that. Plus, we're going to give Lib, uh, Lily a few days to get over this you know, to, to adjust because she's kind of confused right now. I don't want to just throw her into an entire, you know, entirely different environment. And, you know, I think it's best just to wait a few days. I go in there quite often with her, her TV's on. We watch the animal shows and I'll sit in there 15, 20 minutes, come back in. Then I'll go out there later, do it again. Just to let her know she's not alone. And she gets a little extra treats, you know, right now. Not that she needs them, but she, she's been getting a little extra attention. So, sorry, I didn't mean to blow into the microphone. So anyway, again, do not send. I do not want to go back through. There's got to be 500 old videos with the PayPal in it. I don't want to close my PayPal. I've had that PayPal. Since 1997, I think, or 90, right when they first came out. I do not want to close that account. But I don't want any money going in there for donations. I do have links in all the videos that I'm doing now that has the rescues link and all that in there. And there's three different options to donate. And you can always send them a check. Uh, if somebody wanted to do that, let me know. I'll get the address. And uh, they can do it that way. Because I know some people don't do that online, money transfer stuff. 
I've I've done PayPal for years, uh, over twenty five years, and never had the only issues I've ever had with PayPal is when I was an eBay seller, and there was a claim somebody didn't like what they got, and they'd freeze the funds, uh, and they still probably do that. It's been a few years since I've done eBay, but as far as losing money, you know, having money stolen or anything like that, they're just as secure, probably, if not more than your local bank or any bank. So I've just never had any trouble. I I haven't used the cash app or any of that stuff. I think Venmo once, uh, I think I sent somebody some money with that, but PayPal is my, you know, what I go to usually. And, you know, I just, I'm not, I don't, I don't get many, so I don't know, but it is safe. It is safe. And I, but I understand some people feel that they've been burned by it, but it's very secure. I mean, it's probably one of the biggest banks in the world now, so they have to be, which basically that's what it is, the bank. So if I won't mention that person's name, I've never heard of this person's name. But I did. There's a little option where you can send a message back to them. But a lot of times they they don't know about that and they'll never see it if they don't have that set up. So I'm gonna give it like 24 hours and I'm gonna forward that. Don't you know? I, I'm assuming it's a donation because I don't need it and I haven't asked for it. I'll forward it to the rescue, uh, or send it back, whichever they want. Because if if it you know. Who knows what it was for? Or, <laughs> And I've learned with PayPal, I leave things alone probably for a little while because you never know something might get sent on accident. And I don't want them taking that out of my bank or anything else. But I've never heard of this person. But a lot of times on YouTube, you got different names as, you know, your screen name or whatever is different. And somebody sends you something, you don't know who it is. But... Uh, yeah, I don't have any links like that on my page to send me anything. Uh, I don't need anything. I need likes. I need subscribe and I need comments. That's it. Those are easy to do. Thank you for watching guys. Thank you for being so great for Dogtober. Uh, I mentioned on the other channel where we're right at right over 400 on Wachita mountain living channel. I would assume only a hundred on this channel. It just doesn't get, you know, I don't have the subscribers on this channel and YouTube does not pay. I could put the exact same video on both channels and they will pay this channel different because I'm smaller and get less views. So what they may pay for ads on the bigger channel, they may not pay for this channel. And, you know, videos have different behaviors, too. Uh, you, you're just not going to get the, the revenue that you do on the bigger channel. So the bigger you get, the more money you make by from the, from the ad revenue. But I'm not getting the views on that channel like it should be, but we're just going to keep going. It's getting better. It's gradually getting better. Thanks for watching. Happy trail.